Hello there. Welcome. Today we're gonna finish the controller by adding back the whammy bar. And uh, the... where are they? Oh no. Oh yes, they're in the action guitar. <laughs> the buttons! Uh, so, step one. Turn on your soldering iron. So that it's heated up. Uh, that step is only required if you have a slow iron, like I. Uh, step two. Separate out the leads of the pot. Mine were already separated, about a centimeter. Uh, let's see here. Yes, let's, uh, let's get the actual guitar up here. Oof. I can see the UV meter is going crazy, it's probably a bunch of noise on there. I have no idea why that happens. I think just my mic is broke. Anyway, yes, here's the guitar with a freaking USB lead going out of it. Uh, where did I put the screwdriver for that? Why is it not on this table? Why have I moved it? Was it this group there? Yes. So, these are actually hex screws, if you don't remember, like the star hex screws, but uh, a flat head works fine as long as you put enough force on it uh, be careful to not uh, mar the screws let's first take the neck off before we snap everything apart otherwise it's going to get a bit messy and i'm going to need to get some parts closer to me not on the bench but closer there we go That. Let's lift. Whoop. Some. Okay. This little signal board was still holding onto the shell. That's. Note to self. Uh, I want to check the uh, the yellow button also because it's acting a bit strange. I don't know if it's the contact or if it's the solder joint side. Might as well check the solder joint now. I mean, that is one of the shittiest solder joints, so might as well redo it. Yes. And also, this has rotated a bit. Okay, I'm not going to take that out. That's just stuck in there. Yeah, this these cables I brought they they might be German Blitzwolf, I think. Hopefully, possibly, debatably. And the connector is uh, very, 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 well, I guess it's tight to the tolerances. Because it's really tight in some things and really loose in other things. Well, not really loose, but like in here, it's like, takes several kilograms, like 15 kilograms to pull it out. It's awful. And in others, it's just like a kilogram. So it's 
I don't know, it's a large range. I have no idea why. But yes. Uh, I shall put that back in there. Ooh. 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 <laughs> How did I not see that before? Wow. That's awful. Uh, apparently, you see, you see that right there? That's some solder that dropped through. Let me. There you go. Broke it off. That was just on the button. Huh. Look at that didn't fall off while I was jamming on it. There are all there are other random solar splatches splotches around here too. That I should probably remove. But yes, let's uh, put this in a favorable position for soldering, which would be this way, if we take out this board and lay it flat, where the cable is. And now, where, there. And I shall line that up like so, so that when I, there we go, so when I pull it, it just spins in place. Ah, and I bumped the camera ring, and uh, maybe I should clean the tip. Do that over here so I don't make a mess. See me done it before. That's awful. too much. It'll, it'll damage the uh, it'll damage the board. Warp it or something. Or just delaminate the pad entirely. And god damn it this thing needs to be taller. Or I need to flip it around but then yeah. I should just go really, really low. Yes. I guess that works. Uh, okay. So, here are the buttons. Uh, let's focus on those. Uh, those don't reach at all right now. First of all, Let's figure out what the ground is on that thing. And to do that we need some nice uh, traces, uh, no, uh, like contact area, yes, that's what it's called. 
So I need to like split them apart a bit. Well, well yeah, that's a bit. Maybe a bit too much. More is better, whatever. It's all going to be on the inside. Uh, get your favorite wire, I guess. I guess I could use this. Mm. Yeah, I'll just use this. I have a, well, probably can't even see this blue wire here, but yeah, almost blue wire. Let's use it. Oh, wow, interesting. Uh, I'm gonna put the soldering iron down. And yes, I put it on the floor because I can. And because there's not really enough space here. Well, there's space, but any place I can put it on the table will just have it fall down from the weight of the cable. So yeah, this one here at the end freed itself because reasons. So uh, let me just try to spin that up, or twist that up. Yeah, that's the word. Twist. Sorry. English is not my native language. Oh crap. Keep. Keeps bringing. No, or does it? It twists, but it springs back as well. I have no clue what this is. Get rid of that excess. Let's see if I can get the same on this by like we cutting closer. Oh no, that's on. Okay. What if I like Okay, it's uh, let's just say it's pretty fiddly to do that. Let's explore um, if we can burn it individually. Not really. You have to get a contact area? Uh, maybe. Maybe. Um, maybe I'm just better off running my own wires from the board instead of splicing a new, new wires in here. Yeah, maybe this. Yeah, this. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. This is do that. Yes. Uh, 
on the trouble to not take this out or only take it out. I feel oof. Oh no, please don't, please don't start doing that on me. That's, uh, why aren't the buttons coming out? Okay, it was just on there. And here, look, there's solder in the select or start button, I have no idea which one this is. Uh-oh. Okay, we fine. We fine. Okay then. This that was the select button. Which goes in what way? Oh I oh, am. Yeah. <laughs> yes. So if I put it in that way it will not work. Correct. And that way it will not work. Correct. And that way it will not work. Correct, and that way it will work. That's smart engineering. Can only be put together one way. Uh, is it safe for me to assume you can't switch the buttons then? <laughs> wow, they thought of that as well. That way you would never ever get a mismatched uh, uh, mismatched buttons from uh, from on screen prompt at least for the standard system so I can just mindlessly stab it in here and there you go. Now I know it's that's that's really cool. So that means I can just take them out and put them to the side because the design only allows the right button for the right hole in the right orientation. Smart. Uh, these screws are all the same length, so I'll put them in a pile over there. Uh, let's move this. For now, and uh, let's focus on this contact board. As you can see, very complicated, state of the art. <laughs> uh, no, uh, we have a we have ground in the middle. Where do you go? I don't know if you can really see if it's... Yeah, fo focus on this camera's crap. It's awful. Let's get the iron. And let's pull this old... stuff out of here. Yoink. Throw this away, I guess. Uh, this you probably want to clean out. If you have lead-free solder, 
you probably want to clean it out. I have, like, I think this is lead free. I have still no idea. But uh, if you have lead free, you can just add on, but it's still recommended to clean up. And this is a horrible way to clean a board because it just sends, its go sends it going everywhere. Unless you do it properly. Which is to add more solder, <laughs> ironically. That's the thing, you have to remove solder to add solder. Because in solder there's flux, and flux helps uh, break surface tension. There we go. That was way too far away. Still sucked a bunch of crap off the iron though. That's better. The thing with these manual things, these manual pumps, uh, there's a fight. F uh, people say they are crap. Uh, I'm sorry, but they are a really useful tool actually. That doesn't require any power other than hand power. Sure, your soldering iron probably requires power, but uh, it's a cheap option. And it, well, if you learn to use it, it works really nicely. So, how do you use this? Well, you. Let's see here. What, uh, this is if we wait. Let me look at my. Oh yes. Let me move some stuff around. Uh, Okay, so in the middle, you can't really see it that well because, well, the camera is shite at uh, focus because it's fixed. But you can see there's a big shiny thing there in the center. Now, these pumps, if it's a quality pump, this is going to be a nylon tip, and that's important. Because the nylon tip doesn't care for the heat at all. So, with that in mind, what you do is that you, if needed, put some more solder down onto the pad, laying on the pad. Put your iron on top of it and like get it down there. And now, with the iron on the edge of, of the pad, so you still have access from the other side, put your pump in there and rest it in there. Then you click. Now that time it failed, but that was probably because I was going slowly and explaining everything. So let's just do it again. We go in, we touch, we suck, we spit, and it's clean. Let's do the last hole. I slipped. And I slipped. Actually, no, I didn't. It's clean now. So there you go. Now all the holes are actually see-through. Although I don't think this camera will be able to get that point across. Maybe? Ish? I don't know. Whatever. Trust me. <laughs> um, 
I don't know really how you should store these, if you should store them like this, with the spring extended. I just store mine like this. Because less space. But I would assume that it would last longer if you store it like this, extended. That way the, the spring doesn't like creep into that like contracted form and stay like that. It doesn't get weaker, I think. Although it's a, it is spring steel, presumably. So uh, I don't think it's an issue really anyway. Uh, although, yes, one thing to look out for. Um, whenever you saw me using this now, you saw me using it at an angle that's always away from me never like this this is okay this is borderline no don't do this and definitely don't do this because you'll punch yourself in the chest and trust me if when you punch yourself right in the like in the center where where there isn't like uh, where your ribs meet, where there isn't actually bone, but there's, uh, what's it called, ligament? I have no idea. When you have this hit you in the chest, it, it trust me, you're, that's only going to happen once. You learn to not point it any way at yourself after that. So. Now, let's uh, choose wires, well, not choose wires, but cut wire from the wire we have, which is this wire. Oh, I remember this wire. This wire has been through a lot. Let's, uh... How long do I need? Let me check real quick off camera. Yeah, that's more than enough. So, this... Or whatever... Is long enough. I'm just going to do that. That's fine. There's our free wires. They're all the same color. But who cares? <sighs> Let's strip these wires. Um do I have that? Here, do I have that tongue or whatever it's called here? Uh. Ooh. 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 I found the cable cutter or stripper thingy. Whatever the fuck this is. You start at something big and then you go down. What was that? Twenty two. Yeah. 
Let's go for 24. Okay. Let's go for 26. Oh, yeah, that. Yeah, that's better. Well, that that bent the wire a bit. That probably stressed it. But I don't really have any grip. Oh well. So, if you don't know how to use these, uh, quite simple. You crunch down, you open up a tiny bit, and you jack. Quite easy. Two cables complete. There you go. Um, yeah. Could pre tin these, but uh, you don't really need to. Just stick them in the hole. I guess we should start with ground. Oh, don't tell me that pad is gone. Okay, uh, it's not gone, it's there. It is there. everything so that I can work on it correctly. Uh-huh, uh-huh, perfect. That's ground. Yeah, now we know that the center is ground. Then it doesn't really matter where we hook it up to with the two signals. Uh, interchange it in software. I'm gonna try to make it neat ish.
Sure, I guess. Looks kind of cold. Oh no, not cold, but bald. It looks bald, but it still looks connected. There's no break in the shine. It's weird. Come on, let me pick that up, damn it. Let me pick it up! I scare my power supply. Don't scream, power supply. Don't scream. There you go. It's all okay. Flick off, go in, add a tiny bit, drag off, flick off. Add a tiny bit, flick it off and flick it off. Maybe, oh, maybe I should have taken that too, yes. Oh no, my mouse pad, no. Oh. That's what I get for soldering at the computer. Anyway. Nice. I'm gonna fold these pins. I don't know why, but I'm just gonna. I guess F everything else. <laughs> Let's see, let's uh, inspect the board a final time. Yep, the center is ground. Can't be more s sure than that, really. So, let's... Uh, let's bring our little friend and the board back up. I presume that this little thingy also only can go in one way. Also, I see a possible short going on here, so I will uh, get some tiny piece of heat shrink. Hold on a moment, too. Uh, 
That's way too much. Now, I never found a good way to shrink, heat shrink the soldering iron. So I'm just going to do it with a lighter. Basically, just basically just yeah. I'm only gonna need one for the ground, so that's where I put it. There we go. What happens if we put it on like this? Well, it does go on like that. However, would it make sense for the small connection? So. Oh yeah, uh, I'm stupid. Let's see here. According to the PCB select should be up here with that orientation. Okay, that's going. There's a start there. That orientation. That. Yeah. I don't think we need to solder it back in, um, screw it back in just yet. First of all, two signals. Now when we know what they are. can just plainly go over here to the Arduino somewhere. Maybe pin 15 and 14, I guess. Let's find a ground for this fella. Here, to snag. I guess he can grab it by, uh, yeah, or maybe even from up there. What if I run it from underneath? Oh wait, I can't. Yeah, I'll just grab it from uh, from this bottom here. So, I start soldering again. Which means... Now we gotta pre-tune these. Like so. Flick off the excess. Let's uh, get on ground. There's a cold joint if I've ever seen one. It 
Staying there, staying there, staying there. Yeah, it'll be fine. So now, signals. Oh shit, I, I miscalculated this. Oh well, shit. Let's spend some crap out of the way, I guess. Now I need to form these so that they miss the those poles. Okay, we're ready. No, we're not ready. The whammy bar. Let's see if we can do it quickly. First of all, let's see if we can quickly make this into something usable. Use the thinnest gauge wire they could. Wait, there, stripped. Flick off the axis. So here we go. For some reason, our orange, uh, our red is our orange. <laughs> For some reason, our red is our signal and not our orange. Damn. Okay. So we have brown, which connects to. Actually, let's just get it in there again, so that we can route it properly. Which means, get this, stick it on there. Let's 
stick it through there, I guess. Oh, okay. So what you do is you snap that on there, pull those two together, and they should both go into slots at the same time. And there you go, you have a... No, it's, it's not working, it's going the wrong way. Ah! Ah, okay. Then you just turn it 180, I guess. I assume. Let's see if it's correct. Let's get that edge, that edge, and then that edge on that side just follows suit. Yes, there we go. Wow, 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 wow. It's gonna start snapping out. What is that even helping though? Nothing? Oh, there's meeting ridges here, so it's just sandwiched between the shell. Interesting. Which means, damn it. I have to make all the log cables longer again. Uh, also, how many K is that part? 10K. Yeah, I can put 10k over the regulator. It's fine. It's fine. This is pull the ground out separately because we know we can just connect that somewhere. Like there. If it even reaches there. Barely. Yeah, let's just do that for now for that. Boop. There we go, ground connected. Now I just have Power left, and then signal. Signal needs to reach on the analog inputs. And, uh, okay, more cables. Which means. Um, I'll just do that for that thing. For that one, I'll do that thing.
somewhat arbitrary random links. That's one. Ow, that was stupid. Uh, short wire was for signal. Which for some reason isn't tin properly, even though I tinned it. Hey, mushroom to me. I'm going to blue this time.
I just splice two wires perfectly without yeah without any pointy things where the frick is my blue my blue heat drink there it is I think I have to check the electrical conductivity of that. Oh wow. Also. Um, dude. Um, dude. Dude. What the fuck? Why you do this? Why? Why? Why you? Why you break pad? Why you delaminate pad? We do so in a weird position. Fuck. Okay. That's awful. However, there is hope. All hope comes from boards standing on wires. What I will do is that I put it through for the other side and I will try and connect it to the other pad. However, I will have to get in. Oh, crap. It's gonna burn my hair. Ow. Fook. And now the other pad is coming loose as well. I think. No, okay. Oh, 
Ding ist einfach nur die Haare. Much space to play on. I want to go through the hole for structure. This is get the repairs right here on concentrating. Okay. Let's try the vulnerable test them. Actually, hey, how about pre tinning this thing? Given that it ripped off a board. Oh, yeah, that comes to old pad as well. Let's. Smack that off. Let's clean off the lens because the pad is still on here. There, finally off. Hopefully, it will actually even try to buy into it now. Yeah, there you go. Almost. No! Let's Perfect, let's never touch that again. That was horrible. Ugh.
Okay. So let's do that continuity test from that ground to that ground. Clear. Clear. Let's cross from there to there. Yeah, and there. Always turn off your meter if it's one of these types that don't have auto shut off. Uh, yes, signal for this thing. Did I pin this? Maybe, maybe not. Looks like I did, question mark. Let's try that again. There you go. Now I can hook that into either A0, A1, or to I guess we can try a one for now Let me bend that around. Now we need the 5 volts, and I actually have, I can't see that part of the silk screen anymore, so I'm going to have to, uh, search, pro, no, no, pro, pro, micro, and that's, on images, I said images. And we, gr and we get that we have raw, then ground, then reset, then VCC. And I want to VCC. Let's tin this one. Joint off the rest and again. And some extra tin to your iron just because. Ow, stab yourself, possibly if you want to.
So what does it say? Raw Round Reset VCC Okay, 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 okay. Raw ground. Reset VCC. And there we go. It's finished. It's finished. So now, just to check the analog real quick, I should have 10k across ground. And VCC. Nine point zero eight, nine point zero nine K. Good enough. Given that this is built on top of another circuit, it's surprisingly predictable. Let's put that back in the sl uh, wait, shit, let's fold the cables in. Mm -hmm. Make sure they are. Get the screws for the for the, for the buttons. Maybe I should start with the center one. And as before, go backwards. Until you feel a click. Then you are allowed to go forward. There we go. We have the whammy bar. So, I don't know, that's, um, let's, let, oh, yes. <laughs> Let's put this thing back together. Uh, let's do it properly with uh, these things in place. Uh, 
that will go there. Yes, I can go there. I will go there. And this will go over here. On top of that goes the lid, but I must make sure this is out of the way from that. Otherwise, bad things will happen to basically everything. That's it. This is time to look over. Mm -hmm. Is everything sort of lined up? Wow! Now we need to... Where did I put the two screws? Uh-oh. 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 I cannot remember where I put them. Maybe I put them in the batch with the others. Whatever. Let's get the most two structural ones in. Again. Going backwards until you hear the click or feel it. Um, okay, that may have been a new friend. That 
was definitely not a new friend. New friends get incrementally harder. Old friends are pretty much constant, and then they just slam on the torque. That is as quiet as ever. I have two screws left, and I have way more than Right now I have four here, and one by each, and also one at the whammer. Okay, that was just pure luck. Nice. Yeah, it's getting weighty again. Very nice. Let's put it on the neck. There you go. I should put it on, belt and all, I guess, or strap it all. What's it called? This carrying handle band. Band? Strap? Who knows? Uh, let's plug it in. And uh, I should probably get some sound going to my ears. And to yours as well. Okay. What do we have? Uh. Oh. 
a bunch of my songs is finished downloading. Windows uh, 14 and 15. Yeah. And that's all the changes we need to do for the two extra buttons. Uh, however, for the... Uh, for the analog, we need to do a special thing. That is right here. Pin mode. A0. Input. And I'm just going to do a okay. All right, nothing. So there's these. So I'm going to have an int last analog state. I'm just going to have that as a single variable for now. Uh, int a state yeah read a zero if a state not equal uh, what did you say last on the state? Sets set axis zero to a state. I think it's very possible that this will be like eh. Yeah. So let's go and check out the documentation for that. What's the Matthew Hayron Nimbus? Joystick dot H or Arduino. Matthew. Very nice. Okay. Nice. So we have set axis range, which we can use in the beginning. Joystick set x axis range zero to one two three four five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 
whatever. It's a thousand twenty four. Actually, a thousand twenty three. I have no idea if that's inclusive or not. Oh, wait, default is zero two. Oh, whatever. Thanks. Thanks for being thoughtful. I'm just gonna use set x axis then instead of my set axis zero. There you go. Upload. And my guitar now has that new code. Let's see here. So that's green, red, yellow, blue, orange, down, up, start. Ah. Uh, offensive. Why doesn't start and select work? Oh! <laughs> ah! Because it's supposed to be nine mappings. Because I'm a, I forgot to change that. So yeah. There we go. There we go. Start, select. Let's try the whammer. It works. Look at that. Technically, it's centered in the middle, so it's so it's at five twelve. Set the range to 512. Or 0 to 511, I guess. Okay, now it's not sensitive at all. You know what? I don't care. Here, just just have my raw values. Just take it. Take it. Ah. Uh. Hmm. 
if I should turn on my speakers. Perfect. With that, we can play and test. Um, shit. Let's just map this real quick. I like pause. Nope. Oh well. Okay. Oh yes. Um. What? Oh yes. Whammy axis. Wait. Okay. Still four times the resolution of the original um, controller. The original controller only had pitch bend to 120, uh, 127 uh, different steps. This is at least 512. So hey, let's see how let's see how it works. I guess. Oh, come on. It does work. Oh yeah, I have star power now. Ah. 
あああ、um, Yes. Also, now I don't have to reach for the keyboard every time. So yeah. Uh, let's uh, are there any good like demonstration songs? Like for some reason the 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 pack I found is full of metal. That that this 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 this. This and this. Yeah, let's play this. I wonder if I can show you this. Uh, what? Whoa! Ow! Shit! Shit! I I keep slipping. Nice.
Wait, what? Watch me get utterly destroyed. Come on. Oh, come on. So hard. Come on. <laughs> oh, come on.
Да. Да. I, I, what? I don't remember this being this ridiculous. Uh, I don't remember this being this freaking redonkulous. Yeah, that was madness. And here it goes again. I can't even hit the cords. Abandon. Abandon. What is this? No. Maybe. This is nice when I can actually play it. I bet it will not happen now, but we can try. What?
Oops. Oh, come on. Thank you, Windows. Thank you. Thank you. Dear Windows, you can clearly see I'm playing a game. You can clearly see there's HID input. You can clearly see there's gamepad input! So please... Please be sensible. Please be sensible. Actually, you know, Windows, help. Schedule restart. It's Sunday. Yes. Goodbye. It's making me anxious. Why is this a part of the song? Uh, 
Ah, my finger! Fuck. Oh, oh, fuck. Ah. There we go. Perfectico. Working exactly as intended. Wait, I cut the bottom? Wait a f Oh, that's not optimal. Oh well. But yes. Every button still works. And the... Uh, and the whammy still now works. And these two buttons here now work. So yeah. 
it's a fully fledged controller now, only that it's it's a grammar PS2 controller, only that it's USB now. <laughs> And a bit higher resolution than the whammy bar. So yeah, all in all, an upgrade. Yeah, don't need batteries. Higher resolution on the whammy. Possibly higher refresh rate on the buttons. Debatable, probably not. You can't. I mean, it's specialized circuit in there, so you can't get pretty much well it that thing has a that thing had a microcontroller too so I don't know it's it's probably on the same playing field however given that I use uh, uh, digital read and stuff like that it's not gonna be the, the fastest but it's at least gonna be fast ish I should probably like have it measure and print it. Oh well. That's all I had to show. Goodbye.